shit, shit, shit. Ugh, I am so late. They'd probably kill me if I didn't already have the pizza. Okay, I'm here. Great. Ooh, please don't be mad. Oh, come on. Don't look at me like that. I brought pizza. I know I'm late. I'm sorry, but I got caught up at home and then I lost track of time. And you know how long it takes me to get ready. Okay, yes, I could have gotten ready sooner. I'm sorry. If you forgive me, I'll let you win the first few rounds at Mario Kart. Uh, I do not suck at Mario Kart. I just let you win because you get pissy if I don't. Yes, I do. You wouldn't have won nearly as many times if I actually tried. <laughs> you know what? Okay, fine. I'll kick your butt and prove it to you, since you're so confident. No, but seriously, can you let me in? This pizza is super hot and it's burning my hand. Thanks. Yeah, you go ahead and set the game up. I'll get some cups for the drinks, and then I'll kick your butt. So, are we getting plates for the pizza, or...? No? Just gonna eat it out of the box like heathens. Alright, found by me. No one wants to do dishes anyway. No! Okay, alright, that wasn't fair. I wasn't ready. And you got such a head start on that round. No, I'm not upset you're playing the game correctly. I'm upset you're beating me. <laughs> oh, we're definitely going another round. And I'm winning this time. Okay, see? Now it's really not my fault. Joey keeps clawing at me. Ow! You little traitor. I fed you salmon, and this is how you repay me? Go into the other room. Yeah, I know. He's never been like that before. Not with me, anyway. It's like you forgot we've met before. Oh, don't worry, I still love him. He really only acts that way with guys? Huh. Wonder why he turned on me, then. I know exactly why. And honestly, it's a little funny the cat could tell. I mean, seriously, I just realized I was trans. Although, being correctly gendered by cat is both hilarious and unexpectedly heartwarming. Even if I do have scratches now. Ah, oh, yes, okay. I'm in front of you now. Ha <laughs> ha. It doesn't look like they've realized anything is strange. I mean, they're my best friend. We've known each other since we were kids. But even I don't know how they react if I told them. Would they accept me? I mean, realizing I'm trans is one thing, but knowing I'm gender fluid? Having to explain that, it's just so much. I don't think they'd reject me or shun me or anything, but... I feel like such a freak every time I have to explain gender fluidity. I don't think I could take it if they looked at me differently. If they just didn't bother switching up pronouns every now and then, or just... Asking what gender I'm feeling. Huh? Oh, yeah, you beat me. Uh, good job. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine.
That wasn't very convincing, was it? I hate how well you know me sometimes. I just... There's something I want to tell you. About me. But I don't know how you'll take it. Or if you'll still want to be my friend afterwards. Oh, ew. No. <laughs> no, I don't have a crush on you. That's not... <laughs> <laughs> That's not what this is. Okay. Um <laughs> So you know how I had my hair cut short a few months ago? Yeah, I said I wanted to try something new, which was true. It just wasn't the whole truth. I've been struggling with my identity recently. Specifically, my gender identity. You've known me forever. You know I was born a girl, but lately being seen as a girl, being referred to as a girl, even presenting that way has just made me feel... anxious, for lack of a better term. It feels so uncomfortable and wrong. Sometimes I find myself genuinely preferring being cursed at. <laughs> After a bit of research, I thought that I was just a trans man, but then that feeling came back. It felt wrong some days to be referred to as a guy, too. Honestly, I thought I was going insane. That I was faking being trans somehow, or maybe I was just empathizing too deeply with other trans people in their struggles so I couldn't tell the difference between their emotions and mine. It's not like it would have been the first time that happened. And I felt so bad about it too. I mean, I was so anxious to say something because what if I'm just making it up subconsciously? What if the feeling went away someday and I had to admit that I was just going th through a phase I didn't understand. I felt trapped inside a body I don't love for years. Since I was a kid, even. I didn't understand what it was then, but I do now. And it's not easier. Even still, I, I downplayed my discomfort because I was so scared of being wrong. As you can probably guess, the feeling never went away. It's still plaguing me. It's still there, in my chest and in the pit of my stomach. It's better, on some days. It doesn't bother me as much, and I can just ignore it. And other days, it's so bad I want to tear off my own skin just for the chance to feel right inside of it for once. <laughs> when I realized it wasn't going away, and it wasn't going to go away, I did some research, found out about dysphoria, found a psychologist to diagnose me, to give me some sort of peace of mind to prove to myself and my parents that I wasn't just making it all up. But I also found out about the gender spectrum. You would not believe how vast and beautiful it really is. I did research on why I could feel like a guy some days, a girl the next, sometimes even both, or just neither. <laughs> and I came across a term I really, really identify with. Gender fluid. I mean, the gender identity literally fluctuates. <laughs> and sometimes there's no real reason or rhyme to it, it just is. The moment I learned about that, it was like something clicked. 
This was what I had been going through. This explained everything I had been feeling. And the best part was that I wasn't alone anymore. There are hundreds of thousands of people in the world just like me. <sighs> okay, um, I know that was a lot, and I'm sorry, but as corny as it is, I would like to officially reintroduce myself. <sighs> Hi, I'm Atlas. I use they, he, she pronouns, which means I prefer they or he, but you can use she as long as you ask first. And I really hope you'll stay my best friend. Oh. <laughs> so you're really okay with it? Okay, good. Because I really didn't want to lose my best friend. <laughs> yeah, okay. Anyway, now that the tears are over, uh, let's get back to playing. I'm going to get you back for beating me.